All right, since we have finished our rules read aloud, we are going to start a new read aloud. And this is actually also going to come with some reading activities. This is a book that I was going to do together as a class. I call it One Book, One Class. If we had all been together, we all would have, everybody would have had their own copy of this book and we would have read it together and done a whole bunch of activities together. So we're still going to read it together, although I'll be reading it to you. You'll be following along in the book, listening to it, reading it along with me, however you like to best do it. Um, and then I will each day give you an activity that goes along with the book. And so I'll probably just be posting the activity um, right below or connected with our read aloud time. All right. So today is just day one. It's our introduction of the book. So the book is called A Long Way from Chicago. And what I'd like you to do today is take a good look at the cover. What do you notice about the cover? Noticing the airplane and what kind of airplane. Noticing people. How many people? Who do we think those people might be? Some things that we see in the background over here. What does that make it look like it is? And then I always like to look at the back as well. I see those, looks like those same two people. And then let's look at what it says. A rollicking, rollicking celebration of an eccentric grandmother and childhood memories. Join Joey and his sister Mary Alice as they spend seven unforgettable summers with the worst influence imaginable, their grandmother. It is a Newbery Honor book. So that tells us it's a well-written book. So looking inside, this book is written by Richard Peck, who's a very well-known um, young adult writer. And then I also want to look at the table of contents. So we have the prologue. So that's like an introduction. Then we have our first chapter, Shotgun Cheatham's Last Night Above Ground. And notice it says 1929. So this also fits under our category of historical fiction. The Mouse and the Milk, 1930. A Woman, One Woman Crime Wave, 1931. The Day of Judgment, 1932. The Phantom Brakeman, 1933. Things with Wings, 1934. Centennial Summer, 1935. And then I noticed something interesting happens. It's called the Troop Train and it jumps to 1942. Like all of these were just jumping one year ahead. But all of a sudden, this one has a seven-year jump to it. And so it's kind of interesting about when, what's going to be different with that last chapter, that there's a seven-year jump in it. All right. So for today, I'm actually not going to start reading it because what I want you to do is using just what we've looked at so far is I'd like you to write a prediction as far as what you think this book is going to be about. We have a lot of evidence, lots of clues, things to go on. All right, and I'm going to just show you what I'm expecting, and then um, I'll probably just add in a place where you can do this. So this would be your prediction page. Write a paragraph, so five to seven sentences, answering the following questions. Who do you think is going to be in the book? What do you think this book is going to be about? Where do you think the story is going to take place? When does the story take place? That one we have some big hints. All right. And why do you why do you think this might be an interesting story? All right. And that kind of goes with the what, like what are some things that you think might happen? So here's some sentence starters for your paragraph. I predict from the back that a long way from Chicago is going to be about based on the cover. I predict that a long way from Chicago. Based off the table of contents, I think a long way from Chicago Will be about and then make sure you explain why like what made you think that why do you think that's going to take place here or that maybe this is going to happen or that's going to happen based on <clears throat> again the cover the back and our table of contents this particular book doesn't have pictures in it it just has the chapters this one's my particular copy you maybe saw some notes in there um so anyway, I enjoy this book. I hope we are gonna, we're going to enjoy it together. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So that's our assignment for today. 
and um, tomorrow we'll start reading it. Don't forget to write your prediction.